In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the perfect organizational chart in Microsoft Word. So let's start by inserting our basic chart and then we're going to work on customizing it over time. So let's select insert here and then we are going to choose smart art and it gives you various options and we want the hierarchy. So we select hierarchy and there's lots of different options. But for creating the chart, I always recommend to use number six here. And this one is most intuitive and is easy to work with. After you've created your chart, then you can start playing around and customizing it to look exactly the way that you want it to. But to start with, I'd recommend this one. You're probably going to need more space, so I would suspect you're probably going to change the layout. So press Layout. And then you can change it with orientation to be landscape. And if you want to resize this, you can just click and drag it to the size that you want. So let's start filling out our chart. So at the very top of a generic company, you would have the CEO. Then underneath, you might have a CFO. And then here, you could have the COO, so your chief operating officer. Now, you want to be able to add in various things. So the way that you're going to edit this in general is you're going to use smart tools at the very top here. And then you're going to have this pane here that's going to be really useful for controlling things. And this gives you lots of options. So we're going to use the drop down here on add shape. And we want to add someone, say, below the CEO. So we've selected the CEO. And then we're pressing add shape below. And this person here could be, let's say, GC for general counsel. And you can see that this person doesn't have anyone reporting to them, but they are reporting to the CEO. Let's say, for example, this CFO here only has one person reporting to them. So we could click on the extra person and then just press the backspace and then they are gone. So we might say we've got the deputy and then CFO, let's just say in a generic company. And then here we've got the COO and we want to add more people reporting to them. So we can select the person below and I'm going to show you a slightly different way of doing this. So if you use your mouse and then right click, you can press add shape here and then you can do after and you can do that again and then say after and then you might have, you know, your heads of different departments, head of marketing, IT example, for example. And then if you want to add someone reporting to this person, you simply right click and then add shape and then you can put below and then you get another person below them and you could have say for example add shape after and then there's another one in that line so you might have two different geographies you might have you might have um, head of europe head of usa for example and then you could just keep adding people below and you start fleshing out your chart that way and you can just by selecting the person and below if you want someone below and after or before if you want to put someone in the same level. You've got some other tools. You can move people up and down. You can say promote or you can demo and that will move them down. You can switch it left to right if you want people in a different order. And you can do various other things. A faster way that if you're creating a very, very large chart, you might want to edit it with the text pane. And you can use the tab and shift tab. So if I press shift tab there and then shift tab, it's going to just jump this person around or I can go the other way with the tab key. And so if you like using um, keyboard shortcuts, the tab key can be quite useful. So now that you've created your basic outline, you might want to edit it. And there's various things you can do. So this box here, as promised, will let you customize it. So if you press up, you'll get various different ones. You could select this one, and it'll be the same order. And you could have the photograph of the person with their job title. Uh, or perhaps you want to add the names, and you could select this one. And this will give you an edited bit where you can select this and add in the person's name. So hopefully this video has been very helpful to you and you can now create a nice organizational chart in Word. Thank you very much for watching.